today I'm going to show you how to connect DHCP server and a router to a network and how to assign IP address to the all connected computers. So let's get started. First of all, place PCs as per requirement how many you need so here I have placed almost 5 PCs ok and here we need one row oh sorry switch so place a switch here now we need a generic server DHCP server we are going to connect so this is generic server and again we need a router so place a router here now make connection between streets and PCs so for that select copper straight through and connect switch to PC ok it will be same for all the PCs ok now we have completed connection between PCs and streets. Now we connect with the straight through cable to the server and streets to router. Yeah. So please note this port fast we are connecting that is straight through cable to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 ok and for to remember you can make a note as well so here I will make a note so I will keep uh, this router's IP address uh, 10 0 Okay. Yeah, a zero slash zero is my port number, and this will I will assign a IP address to the this router. So now we have almost connected to the all the devices with the switch. So now click on the router select config tab and here which port we have connected so we have connected in fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so click on it and then first do not forget to check this box port status should be on now you can see this uh, changes to green now we will assign an IP address 10.0.0.1 submit mask automatically we will assign so now we close this now go to the DHCP server and we will assign an IP address for this one 10 0 0 10 ok so remember that the IP address class should be same 10 0 0 10 0 0 that means this 3 bits of the class IP class now we will assign IP address for this server and go to country sorry desktop IP configuration 
No, here. It's fine. An IP address 10 double zero double zero ten. Okay. Submit mask automatically will come. And default gateway here you need to be careful that why whatever we have given uh, the IP address for router we need to <coughs> uh, give the same IP address for default gateway actually routers IP address becomes default gateway so here we will tell you sign an IP address tell you Zero 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 one. This is the router's IP address. Now close it and again go to the server, click on services, go to DHCP. Now service, check it on. Its name, leave it as it is. So default gateway here again. You need to enter this IP address 10.0.0.1 the server leave it and start IP address so here again you have to be be careful that the class should be same IP address class should be same so 10.0.0.0 okay we are starting from 11 okay now save it now you can see see start ip address 10.0.0.11 what we have uh, assigned so now close it now here we will assign the ip address okay for this if we are starting from in this PC, then its IP address should be 10 to 0 to 0 to 11, right? Now click on this PC, go to desktop, IP configuration, and click on DHCP. Now here we can, as you can see, the DHCP request successful and what we assign before IP address is starting from 10.0.0.11 right so we have done successfully now close it again go to the next PC get the IP configuration click on DHCP DHCP is successful here you can see dial close it and you can uh, change the name for your future purpose. Install now will be 13. Install 14. Install 15. So, what is this PC? Start and put this. Let's see. You can see successfully. Close it. Go to next PC. IP address DHCP. Successful. Close. Now click on next PC. Let's start. Now you can put this in DHCP. Successful. Here you can see 10 0 0 15. Okay. Now we have done successfully. So now we will send message. Okay, click on this add simple video and click on this PC and where you want to send the message, click on that PC. Now you can see you are successful. So we have done successfully. So Thank you guys for watching this video, thank you so much, have a nice time.